Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Let's get back in our journal. Um, and you know the day what I decided I wanted to do was I wanted to use some of the gel prints that we made um, recently. And of course I've continued to make them, but for the, when do I stop? But I thought this and then some of that mark making paper that we did could be nice to work in to these few pages here to kind of like sort of emulate the vibe of cave art and you know that kind of thing because we know as we're on this journey of the of the you know of earth mother we you know it's all you know we go to historic sites and sacred sites and I love cave drawings I love cave art I love you know even my old walls is so reflective of that so I thought I'd be inspired by some prehistoric um, concepts and when I got to this page here Lord knows I did not want to cover it. I love it just the way it is I don't want to cover any of it up and I think it goes well with this so what I thought I would do is find one of my um, one of these that I made and you know sort of do the um, I'm thinking about So let's say this one or maybe one of these and do our, maybe that one. I think that one might fight with the, the black that uses something else. But I think this one right here would actually work really nicely here as a collage element. And then I can leave this page as it is and then I'm gonna flip to this side and I'm gonna work these two panels um, almost kind of as one and do the collaging of some more of those elements on it. So welcome to my channel and those of you who may have stumbled upon this video, I'm Robin McClendon and what I do is mixed media art. I love books, I'm a, I'm a um, book artist and for more than 30 years, <laughs> I taught it at the Corcoran and at the Smithsonian. Um, I do gel printing. I have a, my background is um, part of my background is in printmaking, and so I bring a lot of those techniques to the gel plate. So I love mono printing or the gel plate process, and um, yeah, and just general collage and you know art journaling, all that kind of stuff that makes us happy. So um, we're going to jump in and get started. I just want to introduce myself because I always kind of jump in like I like everybody knows who I am and I know a lot of times new people come to the channel and they don't know who you are I'm gonna go ahead and start using the water brush Open it here and let's go ahead and start getting this taken care of I'm gonna go pretty close to it but I want to save some of this this over kind of printing I don't want all that to be gone um, yeah so anyhow just some updates while I'm doing this I will so next Saturday won't be a video because it's my birthday weekend so I'm gonna take some time off but I'll be back the following Saturday um, there was just so much going on this week too that I couldn't even the last couple of weeks I couldn't even think about like even making a a video just to put up and I thought well, you know what give yourself grace and so we won't have next Saturday but I'll be back the Saturday after and the other thing that I will be doing um, is one of my you know many of you I, I think a lot of you have done my Facebook minis or you know a few of you have, I won't say all of you, because you know, certainly 27,000 people haven't done my Facebook minis. Um, but those of you who are kind of like, sort of keep up with what I'm doing, you've done. And so I'm gonna do one. So those are something that I do like every couple of months, every few months really. Um, and I just kind of do, it's a short session, like an hour, hour and a half. And I um, just pick one technique that I've been being requested um, to do, and we flush it out in in that, 
in that class. Um, I keep them very, very inexpensive. They're only $25. And um, so we, the last time we did one, which was on color theory, so many of you joined that one, um, we did a survey to say what's like what would be, you know, another one that you'd like to see. And the most requested was making these glue gun masks. You know, like how do I you know, how do I make them and how do I print with them? Because I know mine, you know, I'm using the same techniques that most people are using, but I think I've altered them a little bit to get this more kind of organic and. Uh, you know this kind of look so I can show you what I've done and if you've made them before maybe um, there'll be some tips or something in there that all you know that you can use um, so like I said you know it, it's it's basic information but I've I kind of learned a couple of different ways to do them sort of to make my my kind of look here so that'll be released next week for my birthday so for my birthday i decided to give everybody like something that they really wanted or at least my community said hey i really want to learn how to do that so it'll be released out on sunday and the way i'm going to do it this time is i'm going to actually pre-record it first is doing the facebook live it's not like we see each other anyhow i just see your comments but then i don't always see the comments because you know the chat goes so fast so what I thought I would do this time is I'll pre-record oh look at that that's good that's just elegant so it doesn't get in the way of the background that I love and it also doesn't you know compete with this side but it just gives it that old kind of wall look so let's go ahead and glue that down so anyway what we're going to do is, so it'll be a pre-recorded session that will be uploaded on into my school. So when you, you know, when those of you who purchased things before, you know how it is. You already have an account, and all, um, all the, all of the videos that or the courses you've taken are stored in your account, and there, you have lifetime access. So, um, so this will be the same. It'll, you know, that's where the, the video will go live. So whatever, um, and I say this because sometimes people who are new to my site, they won't pay attention to the password and stuff that they use to log in. So really make sure you pay attention to the password that you've logged in and go in there. And, um, but then what it'll be is it'll be uploaded on Sunday in there. And uh, all the details, I have all the details, you know if you decide to, to join me at the point of purchase but anyhow and then what I decided to do different this time is then the following Sunday I'm gonna do a live session it'll be a zoom and then we can get back in and you can ask questions so anything that anything that you did so we'll, we'll meet for another hour um, on that Sunday well that'll be the first time we meet but so the video itself will be an hour hour and a half I'm still um, taping it and then our hangout would be like another hour you know and I did it like that because I find that when I do my other courses like that it's really works out nicely because it gives people a chance to do the process look how I just love how etheric it is it just disappears that's good stuff okay we like that so we're gonna leave that just as it is over time as I'm flipping back and forth through the book there might be something that I will add a little bit, little something. But right now, to me, this is 90% done and I'm happy with it. Um, so this, you know, I did the print the um, on tissue paper. So I also will not only show you how to make the stencils, but we'll have a, a, you know, a short printing session where I'll show you some of the ways I print with them and how I use inks, paints, um, and watercolor mediums, different things like that to, um, to print so anyway that look you know keep an eye out on your email for that hopefully if we get it all together I'll have a link below the video um, today's video but if not it'll you know make sure you're on my email list and you'll get it and um, yes I thought that'd be a lot of fun so it'll be two Sundays back to back and we'll just flush that out and also just while I'm doing some housekeeping there, everyone who 
support it. See, this is good too. And I feel like I don't want a lot. We have this one here. I wonder if this is something I could put over on this one. That could be kind of cool there. But I also have this one that really allows us to still see this orange, which I like. But maybe getting rid of, that's not so cavey looking. Maybe I can glue this whole thing down. And then, oh yeah, that could be good and then do some more application over it. And then on this side, I think I'll work with this. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll show you exactly, you know, the different printing, you know, we'll have the gel plate too. So it'll be not only mask making, but I'll have the gel plate out too, to just show you how I print on them. And uh, yeah, so I thought we could have fun with that on my birthday weekend. And um, so if, if it's not below this video, because I do this, the video is done ahead of time and I'm working on the other thing now, then um, it'll be, I'll send out an email notification. And, uh, and then if you want to join me, you can do it that way. Like I said, you know, it's just gonna be $25. But I, I like keeping, I like those little short classes. I think they have a lot of value. So many of you like them and you know, they don't cost a lot, you know, in these economic times, we still want to do our art, but you know, everything is just gone through the roof. Um, I thought, you know, we'd keep that format and just do it a little differently. So you have a little bit more value because you can actually hang out with me and, uh, and you know, show me what you've done and just get some more questions addressed. So that's that update. Let's see what else. I like I had a few things on my mind here. Oh yeah, for those of you who participated in the book launch, and there were a lot of you, I can't thank you enough. We will, I'm, I'm setting it up now, so you'll get an email shortly, but right now, just kinda figure on like, I haven't confirmed the date, but it's either gonna be the second or third week in, in May. And we'll do that hangout, which is just going to be a fun gel printing session. I got I got an idea for a project that we could all work on that will not only incorporate a number of my techniques, but will end up with with a uh, a product. So I won't say more than that. So just know that that's coming in May. It's going to either be the second or third week, but um, I'll keep you informed. And yeah, it seems like I got a lot of housekeeping to do. Boy, that's what happens. Okay, so let's get. I really like taking the centers out of these things too. They just really, you know, take form when that's gone. So yeah, grab your. Uh, your uh, papers that you made when we did the printing session, right? And uh, figure out how you want to use them in your book. I know I've used this shape on the other side. I'm, a, I'm going to actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack them. So... I apologize if this is boring for some, but this is real time. So, um, in the past, I've had people. I mean, you have people say all kind of things. We know that, which is why half the time I don't really even pay any attention. If I could be very honest with you, glad I'm wired that that kind of stuff doesn't bother me. I know a lot of people who are on social media that it really just guts them when somebody says something mean and. Um, and I'm not a fan of it. I'm just wired to not really, uh, I don't know, my emotions. I, I, I'm, I'm very, um, I love people and I'm very empathic. I, you know, I, if you, 
if you needed my shirt on my back, I would give it to you. I'm just wired like that. I don't. I love helping people, but at the same time, I'm not like my emotions are not controlled by when people say mean things or stuff like that. I don't know what it is. I just, I just figure like I'm there. They have the problem, not me. <laughs> Is there, are any of you like that? And I know we're all we're wired all kind of ways, so it's not a right or a wrong, you know. But in social media, it's good not to be wired the other way because, boy, people can really be a doozy. Um, so fortunately, I don't get a lot of it, but I do get some of it, and I just like say, "Bless them, Lord." Because what else can you say? So see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to start overlapping. Like when I put them down, I want to be able to overlap them some, like that. So anyhow, the reason why I got started on that was because I've had people actually say, um, you know, no one wants to see, you know, 10 minutes of you cutting something out or of you, you know, tearing paper or, you know, like, okay, so then don't look or Fast forward. I mean, there's a lot that you can do to get beyond it. I mean, like, right, a lot of times I have favorite people I like to follow. You know, some of them are influencers. And, you know, right right in the middle of their video somewhere, they'll be talking about a product. Well, I don't want to hear about that product. So what I do is I just take the little scroll bar. You know how you can take it? And you can buffer it until you can see when the video, when the ad is done that they're giving, you know, within their video. Like, it's a self-promotion one, right? And and then when you see their, you know, it looks like they're back again, then I pop it in. I mean, I'm not going to, that's how they make their living. I mean, they're doing, you know, YouTube is basically free unless you can figure out some other kind of way to make money. Because trust me, you don't make money off of the AdSense unless you have multi-millions, millions of people. And then if you have that many people, you're already making money so many other ways in your community with workshops or lectures or podcasts. You're doing so much stuff you know, product creation, you name it. So even the YouTube um, dollars are pale, pale in comparison. But anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm like, so I'm supposed to stop and for something I'm giving away free, do all this extra editing and buffering out and, no. <laughs> Oh my God, it's like people don't understand how hard it is to not only make these videos, but be consistent. The consistency part is what it really takes. I enjoy you guys, I enjoy this community. So like I, like I always say every Saturday in our chat, I look forward to hanging out with you. To me, it's a blast, but it's still work, you know? And it's work that, you know, doesn't pay me. So, okay, I'm gonna take this one out too. But anyhow, you can see, I'm just telling you what I'm thinking. A lot of times, I have thoughts on my mind. And sometimes I say, sometimes I don't. But I think it's like, it's good to add to the conversation because we're such, our culture is like such a cancellation culture and such a like telling people what they should do kind of thing. But sitting back on the sofa ain't willing to do none of it themselves. So, you know, come on now. Okay, that looks good. Guess I must be channeling a little Callie today, huh? <laughs> Cause Callie be about keeping things straight. Okay, I like this a lot, but I feel like I need to find something else. Maybe, oh, like I could actually, let's try this. Let's see if, cause I just right now what I'm doing is I'm layering just want to layer, um, just like you know, like you would have with um, petroglyphs. Oh, it's nice and layered. I guess what I was thinking about it too yesterday. One of one of my favorite British. Um, artist that I love her channel she's so sweet she does all the pixie um, drawings and oh I love her um, and here again like I'm the kind of person it doesn't have to be my style of art I just connect with artists and their journey and and poor thing she had a thing about internet bullying how you know she was just being bullied and I thought to myself it's just not right 
So I guess that's kind of, I don't want that right in the center though. That's like a little bit too, like, you know, I want it to be maybe off center like that. Could be good. Okay, that's cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this down, but I feel like I could use something else here. Oh. You definitely use this. So every now and then, you know, I'll hear some of my faves talk about it. And and a lot of times people say, well, you know, don't let it bother you. You know, we love you, all that. But the reality of it is, is that it's not, e it's not, it's easier said than done, right? And then why do you let the bully just get away with it? It's just like if your kid was getting bullied at school and he came home and said, you know, I've been really being bullied and everything. And you're going to say, oh, get over it. I mean, just, that's okay. You know, you know who you are. Yeah, you say that, but at the same time, at a point you're like, you know, knowing that it's important to let the bully know, like, you know, I'm not going to take it anymore. And, you know, you know, you're not being kind, right? So, I mean, at some point you got to, or else the bully just keeps on being bullies because they're just being allowed to. So I think what I'm going to do is put this down first. Okay, we're going to get the glue in. <laughs> wow, it's 20 minutes. You're just running them out. So anyway, how was your week? <laughs> you can see I got a lot on my mind. Oh boy, it's funny. Okay, I like this. Let's put that down because that's on the Asian paper and that's going to just kind of disappear too. So it just kind of gives some little marks. Um, have any of you gone to any of the cave systems or, you know, sent, you know, before? Tell me in the comments if you have and where you've gone. I went to, um, been to a few of them in France. Um, <clears throat> I know some of them have closed down now since COVID. I think I went into, you know what? I never remember, remember, cause I've gone in, like I'll go on journeys and I'll just hit a lot of them. But um, I hit one in 2019 before some of them really started to close down this one up here and um it was called oh my goodness what is it called mm, i'm sorry i'll i'll look it up and then i'll make sure i put it on the screen so you know which one i'm talking about but um that was the last one i've been in because of course everything kind of stopped with the traveling blah -de blah da -de da but boy, are they gorgeous. I mean, and some of the formations, this is the geological formations underground. Even, I feel like even Trump, the, um, the, the paintings themselves, I mean, like not really 100%, but they're on par. Let's say they're on par because, you know, some of the stuff that gets formed and the shapes that rocks take underground and like it's a perfectly perfectly um round you know spherical shape i mean like perfectly and beautifully smooth and these things are all being made by mama earth like naturally it's like golly just um some of the they call them um they're kind of like i think they call them like dream cycles uh dream circles i mean like they it naturally the earth will naturally make these sort of like you know dream catchers um shape with all the webbing and everything like that just gorgeous it's just amazing how natural and then mixed in with it is all those beautiful um you know got a fresh card over here i was running out of my cards and then, you know, it's just really gorgeous. Um, the paintings, oh boy, just nice stuff. So if you haven't before and you get a chance, don't pass up the opportunity as you will not be disappointed. 
I've got to find those pictures. I, took, I think I took pictures. I'm pretty sure I took. I can't remember if I was allowed to take pictures <coughs> in that one. I think I was. I'll have to find those pictures so I can show you guys sometime. It was really cool. Like I said, that was in 2019. So right before, you know, everything kind of shut down. Uh, I think that was in July. As I was in Durfurt and all down in the south of France there, I had led, exactly, I had started leading these kind of art retreats around the Sacred Feminine and like going to a lot of the, the sites there in the various regions. And my whole goal was just to do these kind of tours all over the world. And then that got thwarted. But hopefully at some point, you know, I'm trying to get underneath here. You know, I'll be able to pick it back up because I, and then we did, we did um, studio time. So we would go out and go to some of the sites, take notes, do drawings, whatever, you know, whatever you were inspired to do. And then come back and work, you know, all afternoon and the studio stayed up open all, you know, through the night. So we even, oh, I'm loving this. So you, if you wanted to get up and, you know midnight or in one in the morning or whatever and go work you could um, and I kind of do that myself so I was up a lot and then a few people kind of figured oh Robin's up and then they would come up and join me and boy did we have so much fun but um, so can't wait to get back to doing some of those just so cool and I really feel it just adds to the language of your art um, just you know in amazing volumes this paper is thin and this whole thing gets a little sticky but this glue hmm. come on I fold it back okay there we go Okay. It's drying out a little bit, but there we go. Okay. Oh, I like it. I think what I'm going to do with these sort of cave wall things is I continue to make, as I continue to make masks. I'll put this over so you can see it. Look at that. It looks good. Oh, I love it. As I continue to make masks and stuff, I'll just come back and keep on adding and layering these translucent, um, I won't mess with this one, but these translucent layers, I'm going to just keep on adding on top. So the last thing I'm going to do is, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this up because I'm going to put this over top as a layer. And then from there, Yeah, I'm gonna put on as a layer, and then um, I'll stop there, um, and then we'll, I'll, you know, this will be available for me to come back to, right? And um, and keep on adding different pe um, petroglyphs and you know, um, like petroglyph like, you know stamps, different things like that that I want to add to them. We can just keep on building them up until it's just rich, rich, rich pages. Because um, I don't want to use the same symbols over and over. I kind of want to build up and get, you know. And what I like about using this is I like that orange there. And so what I want to, oops, what I want to do is preserve it. So I am... Hold up. I'm going to get up high enough that, okay. Okay. So see that? Oh, we can see through it. I oh, love it. You can still see the texture, the staining, all the dots and everything. Just add a really nice pattern to it. But we can still see the orange through it too, which I like. So we can sort of start seeing a bit of that. And then what I'm going to do is I kind of went right up to my, my sorry silk because I didn't want to cover that up completely either. So hold on, let me just, 
I'm just going to do a rough tear because I, I don't want it to tear too much. Be let it dry. It's best to let it dry. That back down and let it dry. So anyhow, I'll show you what it looks like. So we're going to, I'm going to stop there because I don't want to do too much layering of the same symbols. I think this is nice. I have the triangle prominent there. Some of the chevron pattern. Um, and this is great here. I love that. And I feel like it's contextual to the bird goddess and to some of what we have going on over here. Um, but then this page, I think I want to transition with some more, some different symbols and things like that. Um, so this next page, I'm sure I will also go into another um, form of Earth as Mother. And so we're just going to keep on going through here, just, you know, on the journey. Alrighty. Take care. Love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please thumb it up. We know all about that. <laughs> and if you um, are new to the channel, please hit the bell, hit all to subscribe and yeah, come back and hang out with us. All right. So not next Saturday, but the Saturday after. And for those of you who really want to hang out with me and let me show you how I make these these masks and then show you on the gel plate how I print with them. It's going to be a mini course, you know, about an hour, hour and a half. I haven't finished taping it yet, but it's going to be somewhere around there. And then the following Sunday will be about an hour Zoom session where everybody can come in, ask me all the questions, show me what you did, you know, like we can troubleshoot what, what, what went wrong, what, you know, worked, what didn't work, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I can help you with it. And so the, the, the link should be below this video. If not, you'll get an email. If not, go over to my website, robinmcclinton.com. But, you know, I'll, I'll make sure you get it. And, um, yeah, come hang out. It's only with 25 bucks. So, yeah, let's hang out and make some of these and have a good time. All right. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.